Hello everyone, I am Nutrix the Synth Guy and today we're going to talk about Alan R. Perlman. Um, he sadly passed away. He was 93. You might not know his name, but Alan R. Perlman was the co-founder of ARP. A. Alan R. Perlman. And go look in the description, there's a link to an interview he did where he talks about how he got the name ARP really young because it was basically his initial and it was logical when he co-founded the company that he, he calls you know and named it ARP. It was co-founded with uh, David Friend and um, ARP was behind a lot of really really cool synthesizers over the years. They started ARP in 69. In the 70s ARP was probably one of the main competitors to Moog and they had the ARP uh, 2500, which just was a massive modular synth. Uh, still today, you know, seen as one of the great ones. Um, there was the ARP 2600, there was the ARP Odyssey, the Axe, the Chroma. I mean, there was a lot of them over the years. Sadly, the company went bankrupt in 81, and we saw the Odyssey come back to life with Korg in 2015, which was released as a virtual uh, hardware synth, then a real analog synth, and also as a virtual synth on, you know, uh, iPad and so on. I actually did a video about it for the uh, Odyssey on the iPad. There's probably a link over there for that. If today, it's it's a sad day because he was a great guy, like like Robert Moog. He, he he just just created cool devices. Now you might say, well, I don't know ARP. You know, at least a key sound signature for science fiction that came from ARP. You even if you were not there in those years, uh, the movie Close Encounter of the third kind was released in the end of uh, the 70s, like 77 or something like that. And Close Encounter of the Third Kind, at one point, they do this musical interaction to try to communicate with the aliens. And it's actually an ARP. The guy playing the keyboard is the vice president of engineering for ARP. His name is Philip Dudd. The story says that he was there just to install the synth and on the set they decided, well, you're going to play it. So he was cast as a musician who played and it's been reused in so many ways in, in different movies and, and stories. So it's actually uh, a great audio signature that came from ARP itself. So I just have to say thank you to Mr. Perlman because it was one of the great person who pushed synthesis because even today I just love using the ARP Odyssey on my iPad. I know it's not the original one but it's still a great synth and it's just a fun device to play and it sounds good. Now when they reissued these uh, ARP Odyssey as a, as a hardware device there are two links in the uh, description. Go watch them. There are interviews and presentation at the NAM 2015 by David Friend who explain how the history of the Odyssey and how they got to work with Korg for doing that. So interesting to, under, to understand a little bit of the background behind these devices. That's it guys. I just wanted to note and to just talk about how great that person was for the synth history of the synthesizer history that we have today and that we still enjoy some of his creation uh, and we see reissues of his creation. So I'm just happy to say um, that we will remember him. I will remember him. That's it. If you like what I'm doing, thumb up, uh, subscribe and add the little bell of notification so you know when I'm releasing new stuff and follow me on my other online presences like Facebook and Instagram and all that stuff. See you next time.